Welcome everybody to the 17th uh, Media Ed Forum, formerly the Northeast uh, Media Literacy Conference. Uh, I'm Yonti Friesem, and I'm so happy to welcome you. I'm the Executive Director of the Media Education Lab. We have a very exciting um, conference. And uh, before we start and introduce all the people who organize it, the sessions, what it is about, it's really about you coming and participating in it. And as part of our approach in the Media Education Lab that everybody learns from uh, everyone, and we're a learning community that advance uh, media literacy, uh, I'm gonna share my screen with a world map and I would love you to use the annotation uh, tool to share with us um, where are you uh, coming from right now? So I'm specifically in uh, Chicago, uh, I'm uh, in the snow. Um, so um, here, not this part, this part here. So if you don't know the annotation tool of um, Zoom, um, you go up depending on which device uh, you're on. And uh, no, here we go, sorry, technical issues always. Uh, and um, you use there the annotate and you can uh, use a star or um, uh, the uh, crayon and you pint into uh, the world map. Uh, where are you joining us from uh, today at this uh, moment? So anybody who has any technical issue, just ask us. We're gonna be happy to share with you where to find it and how but it's always uh, interesting to uh, see where people are coming from. And you're more than welcome in the chat to introduce yourself, your name, your organization, where you're coming from, where you're at right now, whatever you want to share. Uh, we would be very happy to have the record. We're gonna say, by the way, the... Uh, um, the transcripts um, and the chats of the uh, session that will be attached to the schedule uh, later on, several days after the conference, we're gonna upload them. So you have those records uh, if you want to go uh, back to them. Okay, so I'll give you one more minute. And then what we're gonna do, which is very unconventional because we're the Media Education Lab, we're always experimenting. Uh, so we're gonna have you go into very small breakout rooms for um, 10 minutes to make a new friend and uh, to learn who are here and what. And then we're gonna actually introduce to you what we're gonna do in this uh, forum. But first we want you to connect because that's really one of the most important thing here that we're trying to build a, a community uh, on top of all the wonderful people who are part of it um, already. So as you see people from around the world, and I always love this to see like the world map and where people are joining us uh, at this moment, um, I'm gonna put you in small breakout rooms and then in 10 minutes, we're gonna come back and introduce uh, the uh, conference itself. So so I'm opening it and see you in 10 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna have you um, join different start. Um, that was fun. And not long enough. It's never, that's a good ne sign. Never long enough. Okay, Kathy, introduce yourself as one of the co-organizers and what are you excited about? Hey everybody, Kathy Reznicek, that's how you say that. 
Um, I am in Southern California, and yes, the weather's not bad. It is a little chilly for us. You know, when it gets to 40 here, we freak out and think it's going to snow. So um, I am super excited about facilitating the inside the classroom strand. Um, um, I work in both K-12 and higher ed, and we have a mix of K-12 and higher ed in this, but the focus of this particular strand is talking about what is actually going on in terms of teaching media literacy um, in the classroom with communities inside, you know, our classrooms and, and how do we um, work with the media literacy space in educators and teachers and administrators. So our first session, we've got a mix of administrators, principals, teachers, and students um, talking about media literacy. Then we have a couple of uh, sessions from the uh, Europe, which is super excited. We have a session on policy and research. So there's been some research about the policies of educational or um, media literacy. Oh, we're bringing up a session. Okay. <laughs> so in that particular one, two researchers are going to be discussing um, the research they've done about policy in uh, media literacy in the K-12 space. So for those of you who work in K-12 or with students, you know that if there isn't some kind of a policy behind some uh, a project or an idea, uh, a lot of times it doesn't get um, implemented. Um, there's also strategies then for implementing media literacy. And then finally, I'm super excited about, well, all, I'm excited about all of them, but I'm really excited about the uh, media literacy index. So we're going to look at um, an opportunity for using a tool for evaluating and, and um, kind of digging deeper into what's really happening with media literacy. We might have some ideas, but it's nice to know exactly what's going on. Once we get some of that data, then how do we apply it and how do we move forward? Yanti, we can thank hear you. you. Yes, thank you. Uh, so now we're going to have um, Inglika sharing the outside of the classroom session. I'm going to share my screen again, and I'm going to put the link um, to the document so that you can uh, see it as well. And all the links on this document are the links to the Zoom, so it's easy to uh, navigate there. OK, uh, Inglika, take it away. Hi again. Um, why again? Because it's my second year now in this conference, so I feel uh, extremely privileged to be with you again uh, with the rebranded uh, Conference Mediate Forum. Um, my, my session uh, or a panel or a strand, uh, even if it's not mine, it's your strand. But I am lucky to uh, facilitate a strand on um, media literacy outside of the classroom even if for me, these boundaries are blurring more and more, uh, but we can see and exchange ideas how we can make this connection even more stronger and the overlap. Uh, in this round, we will examine um, the nature and the diversity of media literacy, uh, education programs um, in context different than the, the schools uh, around the world. It's a very a global uh, session, this one too. So first, we'll learn about two projects uh, based in participatory and cooperative research, using media as a medium to explore topics on uh, placemaking and identity uh, with youth in Oslo and Rotterdam. So this one is European too. Uh, and given the conversation that I had in the breakout room, I can see how many people experienced with background in media we have. So I believe this will be very interesting and productive session. Then we consulted the power of gay, uh, another topic of special interest for me, uh, that were, are games that are designed to inoculate people against misinformation. This is a very um, 
contradictional or um, a very interesting field of inoculation. Uh, so we'll talk about it with Dr. John Cook from Australia uh, around his game of uh, my cranky uncle. And uh, we use a practice directing misinformation, disinformation to get quicker and better. And the critical task of identifying uh, falsies We'll have session, of course, on uh, artificial intelligence. I'm super excited about it. It will be tomorrow. And uh, we, of course, we'll put media literacy in the framework of uh, human rights in the fourth session. So um, yeah, I know that this will be a very difficult uh, choice for you to make around these sessions. Thank you. And I I'm excited about the last session about um... Uh, student rights for freedom of expression. We have a senior high school who will come uh, to discuss how uh, he created with friends a pre-law uh, honor society in uh, his own school and how he uh, worked with uh, Columbia University uh, to advance that. So it's a very cool. And we're excited that we have elementary students in the next session, right? Right after now, we're going to have high school students uh, so we're trying to engage as much to really hear from the learners uh, themselves. Okay, and now we're moving to uh, Barbara Burke to uh, explain us the uh, strand of um, interdisciplinary uh, challenges, which took a time to kind of articulate how are we gonna call this uh, thing. Okay, Barbara, take it away. A lot of what is in the interdisciplinary challenges is a combination of topics that I thought would be interesting to me and to colleagues. And what I've done is invited a lot of experienced and accomplished people from a lot of different areas of the country, a lot of different areas of the world, and a lot of different job titles who will present to you stories of their experience and some advice they may have for moving forward. When we start with engaged research. What I'm really looking at are instances in which we have people who have studied media literacy and then applied and used and reached out to community members or to NGOs or to um, partnerships within their larger circle of influence in order to make changes that would really be important. In terms of our second session, which are games for media education, it's furthering some of the things that Iglika spoke about. And there are some examples that you can see listed in the programs that come from um, some partners. And in terms of the one that is, uh, boy, I can't talk this morning. I'm so excited. Um, in terms of uh, interdisciplinary challenges, it's about the nature of how we can bring together a gamification to understanding media literacy. The third session, Empowering Students Through Media Creation, we have a textbook author who's going to talk about how, when, and why using media literacy will be a functional way to achieve some goals that will aim in spreading media literacy beyond what might be a communication class or a media production class, but across the curriculum at all levels from K-12 through higher education. And then on Saturday, for some of us, very early Saturday morning, we have another book author who's going to talk about the role of knowledge in media literacy education. And he's coming to us from Oceana. And so for him, it's not the middle of the night or early in the morning at all. Then we have scaling media literacy in challenging contexts. And I really appreciate this one. And I think perhaps Yanti wants to describe the challenging contexts a bit. So those are uh, six uh, different people from IREX who is doing work to scale media literacy around the world. And each one will introduce their own context, especially uh, in East Europe with issues of, of misinformation, disinformation. Uh, and uh, they're gonna share what they're doing as an organization and individually in their own setting to scale up media literacy practices through uh, IREX. And then the last thing in my session deals with grants and funding, talking in specific about some examples of how people might be able to obtain a Fulbright to either go 
work and research and teach abroad or people who are not in the U.S. can do so in reverse and come to the U.S. in partnership. And I'm hoping that from our forum, we can create those invitational partnerships that move Fulbrights forward. We also have someone who's been very successful at working with public broadcasting systems to receive multiple million dollar grants. And then we have uh, the Office of Grants and Development representative from University of Rhode Island, who is going to tell us more about generally how one goes about finding funds and grants and support to do all the cool things that we always do. So that's my six sessions. Thank you. Looking and as we know, you. this is, um part of what we're all looking for. And that's where we were thinking about what's trend to do about the challenges of being in communication, education, and how to work with grants, how to collaborate. And this trend really shows those kind of ways how different people creatively overcome the silos to really advance what we all believe in and why we're here. Okay, and the last one, uh, which again is something that we started last year with open Zoom, but with our amazing experience with Courageous Arai, we said, oh, we should have really a media ed dialogue. So Renee, I'm going to have you uh, share what is so special about this. Hey, yeah. So um, the dialogue session um, speaks to the idea that as we go through the next five hours today and the next five hours tomorrow, we're going to encounter people that we have uh, some things in common with and that, in fact, we want to explore some common shared interests. This is the place, the session at the end of the day today and the end of the day tomorrow. Can you believe the end of the day tomorrow is going to be from 11 to 12? Eastern time, right? <laughs> Woo. But this is a place where you set the agenda, right? Where um, we basically invite you to identify topics of interest. And then we work in small groups. Sometimes this group might be just you and one other person who you want to talk in more depth about something. Sometimes it'll be a, a, a little bit a wider group, but this is an opportunity to develop the relationships and networking that yields incredible um, synergy in the year ahead. Because as an emerging or established leader in media literacy, and if you're here, that's who you are, right? You're going to benefit tremendously from opportunities to collaborate with a thought partner, to have someone to bounce ideas off of, and even to engage in more formal uh, collaborative initiatives. And we, if we started to list all of the great projects that got started through a Media Education Lab webinar, we, we'd be here all day, right? So trust us, this is a really powerful part of the learning experience. And now, Yanti, before we, before we, um, before we go on, can I just can I just take a minute to do to say something a little bit for people who are here? Uh, uh, give me a thumbs up or raise your hand or wave your hand if this is your first time at the Northeast Media Literacy Conference, <laughs> right? Which this is the seventeenth. It's called the Forum now, but we're so happy that you are here. Welcome to all of you uh, newcomers, and I want to talk a little bit about something that's really cool about this conference. This is not, this is called an invitational conference. And that means that Barbara Burke and Kathy Reznicek and Iglika Ivanov and Yanti Friesom hand selected and chose and curated this set of um, sessions that we're going to. And as the field of media literacy gets more, <laughs> diverse and complicated and you know now everybody's talking about it um a conference where everybody can present can can have some incoherence and so one of the things that we think is a real asset to this format is that the sessions are really designed to create some coherence right and to create deeper opportunities for discussion. That's why we think this is a leadership development uh, program because of that opportunity that you'll have for dive, uh, deep, di deeper dive experiences. Um, but I want to I want to pull back the curtain, Yanti, if I may. Um, there are a group of people in this room today who really enabled this event to happen. Um, Yanti assumed the 
uh, directorship, executive director of the Media Education Lab Forum in 2024. Round congratulations. Thank you, Yanti, for that. And here's the thing you did, Yanti. You said, we have to find ways to bring this community together and make the Media Education Lab self-sustaining for the next 20 years. And one year ago today, we reached out to the folks on our mailing list and we said, can you help us to grow? And so I want to formally acknowledge that one year ago, the people I'm about, whose names I'm about to list, made a big, bold bet on us, right? And it was a $200 bet, actually, Yanti. And so thank you to Randall Fujimoto, Michael Spikes, Ed Green, Donna Alverman, Regina Ahn, Colleen Kenyon, Lauren Malad O'Malley, Julie Holden, Pamela Morris, uh, Kathy Reznicek, Kathy Leogrand, Joyce Valenza, Allison Pirani, Mark Davis, and Wade Gardner. You guys bet on the possibility that the Media Education Lab could have a future as a self-sustaining organization, and we are, huh, we're we're grateful um, because that's kind of what has gotten us to this place today. I also want to acknowledge people who made a special donation to the Media Education Lab to help us to grow. Lynn Azarki, I see you there. Matthew Landry, Mina, Matthew Mina Landry, I see you there. And Natasha Casey. So Yanti, I have to tell you that I am excited about this uh, conference, but I'm even more excited about the people who are in the room who see the value of bringing together an online learning community like this. Um, so I want just to add to that, a big, big shout out uh, to Donna Alverman, who nominated us for the um, uh, Divergence Award. So thank you. That was for the conference from last year. Uh, just to share with you the screen so you can see here, uh, you see how the conference from last year because of the diversity of the speakers, the participants, and the session, uh, we were nominated by Donna Alverman, which we appreciated, and won this award for this uh, very special conference that gave us kind of the ability to do it this year. So thank you, Donna. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the breakout rooms, and we want you to share with the same people that you were in, what sessions are you most excited about? So I'm putting here the questions and I'm reopening the uh, breakout rooms and we'll see you in 15 minutes. So I always see it as a good sign when uh, people are forced to be yanked out of their breakout room. Uh, so um, what we're going to do now, just to wrap it up, get everybody excited, is if people can share, I'm going to let uh, Rene facilitate a short discussion before we share with you some exciting news about other um, opportunities that we have at the Media Education Lab. So Rene, I'll let you facilitate. Um, Okay, good show. We know when when we do uh, small group discussions, you know, part of our uh, tradition is we always do some synthesis. Um, this is a form of reflection on the small group activity that we just did. So the floor is open now. Uh, uh, raise your hand. We're going to hear from three or four of you as you uh, make a comment about something interesting that came up as you all shared your your priorities for today and tomorrow. Who wants to go first? Come on, can look. I invite uh, Sherry? <laughs> can I invite Sherry? <laughs> yes, you can. Sherry. <laughs> Very sneaking. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I guess part of what we talked about was trying to clarify what the session, what the next two sessions were really going to be about so we could figure out where to go. We were not as sure about the engaged one. Um, I, I mean, I feel like all of us in that breakout room felt like we would 
we would be interested in both of them, but I think folks are leaning a little more toward the engaged one. Um, so just trying to figure out, like my personally, I'm interested in kids. And so that led me to the K-12 one, but it sounded like the engaged one was gonna be a broader view of it. So I was a little unsure about those. So we talked about that. Cool, thank you so much. You know, it's really, we're not sure what's gonna happen at these things either. So, <laughs> so it, it's okay to feel that way. Uh, Barbara, what are you, what are you, what, what came out of your small group discussion that you'd like to share? Um, well, for me, I'm going to look for things that have an adult uh, bent to them since I'm interested in working with adults in media literacy. And a number of people were going to go to the engaged research. So, you know, it, 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 there's so much to choose from. And it's like, whatever you miss, you'll get the recording. You can always learn something. And we are all agreed we love an in-person conference. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, yet, boy, you know, uh, where, um, where who's in, who, who's in uh, Fargo, North Dakota? Is that you, Meg? No. Who's up there in the great north? Barbara Burke is in Fargo, yeah. near Fargo well, North near Dakota. Near Fargo, I'm in Minnesota. Minnesota. Oh, Minnesota. It's, it's Minnesota. cold. It's yucky. I'm so grateful that um, I don't have to get to the airport and battle the airport today. But maybe that's just me. <laughs> All right. The floor is open. I'll hear from two more people. What are you looking forward to about today? Aha, Kristen. Renee, one of the things I said is being on a wacky, you know, classes run from 12.04 to, you know, 12.48 and, you know, missing sessions. I always like the engaged dialogue at the end because knowing that the recordings are coming, um, that's a good opportunity to network with people, find out what they learned and figure out what sessions you might want to spend the time going back, um, revisiting, and then also... One of the things I thought about during these sessions is, um, you know, can we exchange email information or have a form or platform that says, can we have all that information? So if you miss something, wouldn't it be great if you can go back and say, hey, you, you know, my name is so-and-so. I'm sorry I missed you at the Institute, but I really like your ideas on, would you like to connect? Um, so that 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 last session of each day creates that, that sense of community. Great point, and certainly a chance for people to sort of internalize what uh, most, you know, what most excited their imagination. In our small group, we talked a lot about how uh, that we expect this to be a kind of creativity jolt uh, to our own uh, to our own ways of thinking about media literacy. But Yanti, we want to give people a little bit of a break before we jump into the next session, and I know yes. you have some final words, eh? Yes. So again, we're very excited that all of you are here. We also wanted to uh, remind you that we have a very uh, special uh, new initiative built on our 11 years of the Summer Institute in Digital Literacy. We're starting with the Media Ed Institute that we have some of the mentors and the pathright creators and the asynchronous micro-credential courses here with us. Um, I'm going to share the overview video uh, that you can see, or oh, Inglika, thank you. You can put it there as well. Um, we're going to have a special offer tomorrow at the closing session. So we're inviting you to come and uh, hear about our special discount for the Institute, only for the forum participants. Um, this is a new iteration that is uh, fully online, six weeks, uh, leadership development for uh, people to delve into their expertise of the uh, uh, media literacy uh, practices in an uh, innovative way with 20 uh, keynote speakers, keynote conversation, and really uh, build up. We've been working for several months on it. So we're looking forward to having you um, continue to come to our uh, events. And as usual, we have our free webinar event. We have the last AI in the classroom uh, next week, and we're going to start a new webinar series on trauma-informed media. Uh, in two months. So we're working on speakers on that and do an overview. Uh, so thank you so much for coming uh, here. We're going to give you some time to get ready for the next session. And each session will be around 50 minutes. You have the schedule. And if you have any questions, feel, please feel free uh, to uh, join us. Uh, so again, 
thank you uh so much and uh see you in several minutes <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.